Happy Easter, everybody. Uh, on the Madison today, fished at $3 Bridge and Reynolds Pass. This has been one of the weirdest winter slash springs I've seen in a while. Um, in Montana, anywhere in the Rocky Mountain states, you can have some, some weird weather. But back in February, we had some days where it was 55 to 60 for like about three, four days. Um, got really, really, really warm. And then uh, that was not good for the snowpack. So that melted off quite a bit of snowpack. And then March came and it was mostly just windy. We, we got a couple small storms, but nothing that really added back to the snowpack. But towards the end of March, it started to warm up just a little bit. And uh, especially the lower Madison, but other rivers I could see on the USGS charts were starting to warm up with just a little bit and get into that magic number of between 40 and 42 degrees. And then last week, it was nice during the week and I was looking forward to the weekend, but uh, Thursday night into Friday, this uh, cold front came running in and it was down like single digits overnight, maybe low double digits. And the lower Madison went from about 40, 41 degrees, dropped down to 34. And I went that Saturday and the fish showed they just didn't like that, that sudden change to the cold water again. Um, caught a few, but it, it was not a great day. Um, and then this week, we've had a couple big snowstorms come in, dropped uh, anywhere between two to four feet, uh, depending on where you're standing, uh, which uh, did help the snowpack a little bit. Uh, in Southwest Montana, probably not so much that it won't be uh, a nice drought summer again, but uh, very western Montana got back up into the all green um, across the northern uh, got back over that 110 percent mark um, So it was it was nice to see that much snow come in April which can happen But that's what's made it so weird was just such a warm February um, And not much in March But the the one constant thing if you can't tell is just wind um that's what's been driving where I go fishing is where the least amount of wind is. And today the uh, the Madison Valley really wasn't that bad this morning. It was pretty calm. Bozeman actually had more wind than Ennis, which is not typical, especially this winter. Um, the lower Madison and Norris, when you turn and come south towards Ennis, uh, that had a, a lot of wind, but when you kind of got over the, the pass there, um, the wind died down quite a bit, but I came up to $3 bridge because even if it's a little windy You're down in a ravine and it kind of protects you a little bit and the fishing was pretty good uh, right away um, a lot of solid rainbows in that 16 to 17 inch range um, the highlight of the day was uh, I had spotted a rainbow and it took a few adjustments to get her but uh, turned out to be a rainbow in the 20 21 inch range Definitely uh, nice to see a fish that healthy. Uh, and then, like I said, uh, lots in the, the 16, 17 inch range, a few in like 14, 15, not too many dinks today. A couple browns in like that 16 inch range, which is always interesting when you get a few browns on the Madison, at least for me, because it's such a rainbow fishery. One thing with the Madison, because this area is uh, in the 82% range or so this morning when I looked in the snowpack. Um, they're holding back water uh, in Hebgen Lake and so the the river uh, normally for this time of year should be about a thousand cubic feet per second and the last uh, few days even maybe a couple weeks they lower it down to 700 which really changed the spots. Softer spots that had previously held fish this winter uh, we're too shallow. Uh, one spot that I fished, normally where I'd be fishing, I was standing in to fish out into the current. And then I did find fish out, you know, if you yeah, fish the, the runs where there's some good buckets, fish will hunker down in those buckets because they're out of the current there. Started off with a three millimeter and a two and a half millimeter bead. Um, and that did really well for a long time. But then when the wind started kicking in, I had to upsize them to the like three and a half and four millimeter range just to be able to cast and keep my leader from blowing around so hard. And then the, the two and a half millimeter was a betas imitation that did really well. And then the larger fives were 
either stone fly variations or uh, head on a, a mop fly for a little bit just to see if that color would attract anything and didn't catch anything on the mop but I got a few nice rainbows on the dropper with the mop on so all in all a good day and happy Easter everyone okay so I spotted a big rainbow coming back across the bridge I tried for them once that I had on a three and a half millimeter bead three and a half millimeter bead it seemed to be a little heavy so putting on a three millimeter with my two millimeter dropper let's see something not the fish I saw but we got something not a bad fish see it but the wind keeps kicking my quad too far up dang it spooked it nope oh, oh, there's one still there I can see it, but the wind keeps pushing my fly too far up, and consequently, it's coming inside the fish. I changed back to a three and a half millimeter fly because the wind was just pushing my line too far upstream and bringing it back in. But I lost sight. Oh, now I think I see it. now we got it big rainbow get that fly in at the right spot took a couple adjustments Fighting too hard. Definitely has some size to it. Nice. 